about a year after I went onto the squadron, um, we had a target, um, a large target uh, um, that the SAS had found, and it required um, all of the aircraft available, well, all the pilots are basically available to neutralize it. And the SAS um, dropped in the middle of the night, and um, they approached the target. And um, in the early morning, um, when they were ready, the, the, we had a promise at that stage. They were our, our close support aircraft, who would then mark for us. He came in, and we took off at dawn and flew up five of us. And the whole object was to take us out in two strikes. It was a large area, a big bend in the river, and um, it worked very well. As soon as the, 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 as the, um, the promise came into the target, the close support, the SAS mortared into the mm -hmm. area, and as it, the mortar he found the target, the provost turned in with a um, map on and dropped the map on. And as the map on dropped, we were we were descending onto the target. The boss picked it up, and the five of us then went one after the other. Rockets first. We had all the whole rocket, the, uh, the, all the the and that was the 38 millimeter rockets, and uh, SNEB took them. And then the second time around was with front gun, and we started with a nine second burst. We started way out, one after the other. And after that, we had uh, we've got very very um, a, a good camera, an F95 camera, which was on the output pod. Number five went around again and took low level shots of it, and basically there was nothing left. We we didn't get any um, a recce, uh, on the ground recce about it, but uh, from our point of view, it was our first big strike and it was very successful as far as we were concerned. Yeah, but the guys did a lot more. Um, I then moved on to mirages, but the guys did a lot more after that. Yes, similar sort of similar sort of tasks. Yeah, and did you find that scary as a pilot, or was it just like I'm focused on the job? You know, Mike, I, mean, I do quite a few talks around the place, and it, it comes up often. You know, I think, and it's something I've heard about a lot of guys talk about. You just don't want to stuff up. Mm. You know, uh, I, I just don't. You know, you, you, you've got a task to do, and you've got all you got. To, your switching's got to be right. And everything's got to be in the right. You don't want to, and that's what I want to remember. Is, and I think it's a father pilot's lament. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to stuff this up, you know. And and I think that at the end of the day is what it's all about. And we fig we figured we had a a real enemy, and so and it was in our in our own um, area. So that's all I can say about it. even in the helicopters and everything I flew. We'd go into combat. I just think to myself, I just don't want to stuff this up, you know. <laughs> even if you. Especially if you're leading it, you know. You know? Yes, I think of course. It's, it's back in my, I'm just saying that there wasn't there wasn't my my whole emphasis, but I didn't think about the outside of that, the, the fear or anything like that. It was just want to do the right thing. Yeah.